Welcome back to Ozo Plug. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to fix ads.txt in Google AdMob, and it will also work for Google AdSense. So now it's very important to set up your ads.txt in Google AdMob after creating your any app and published on Play Store. So you can see that it helps ensure that your digital ad inventory is only so true sellers such as AdSense or AdMob who you've identified as authorized. So it helps to let Google know that you are the authorized owner of your application. Alright, so it gives you more control over who's allowed to sell ads on your site and helps prevent counterfeit inventory from being presented to advertisers so we strongly recommend that you use an ads.txt file so it is recommended so now to be able to do this you must have a website you must have a website i have my own website in which i used to put it but if you don't have a website you can always use a blog spot. You can always use a blog spot account. So now, this is how txt looks like. The app.txt looks like. This is it. Google.com. Oh, your publisher ID will be here. This zero zero zero, you change it to your publisher ID only, not banner or interstitial. So you paste this inside your app. For website owners, you can download a plugin called ads.txt. Download it. Once you download it, open it. Then you place this there. Make sure you change this pub your real publisher ID okay so now but in this video I'll be teaching you how to do that on blogspot so let's go to blogspot so you have to open a blogspot account then while we open our blogspot account let me create a new blog so that we can see how this is done i want you to also know that you can use blogspot to do plugin if you want to be a blogger you can use it to do blogging so let me sign in Alright, so onboarding. So type two of your blog. If you want to go into blogging, please I will suggest you use a friendly accessible name. For example, if you want to go into music or entertainment, you can do something like Shows how to add as the text to our blog, so I'll be using this. Let me use a nice name so that probably if I want to use it in the future, I'll continue using it. So I'll use sports channel. 
So this is how you click on this new post to create new posts. But you are not into that. This is where you add AdSense if you want to monetize it. So create AdSense account. If you have one before you can log in and you link it. But at least you have some unique content to do this. So now what we are going to do is this. Let's get our ads txt file. Go to apps. Give click on all apps. Okay. You can see getting ready, getting ready. This was discussed in my last video about how you approve or verify your app on your Google AdMob account so that ad serving limits can be removed. So you can see limited ad serving, review in progress, limited ad serving. So this helps remove or lift ad serving. So now you can see app ads.txt here, click on it. Okay. So click on how to set up ads.txt Alright, so this is it, copy this Then click on got it Okay, something I want to show us here If you read number very well it said publish your apps as text on the root of your developer website which is your Google console account so make sure the domain is entered exactly as listed on Google Play or the App Store so this is how you do this when you want to publish your app on Google Play Store you must use your blog spot the one I just created the URL you must use it, which is sports channel.blogspot.com. You must use it as your website because there is a space where you can put your website under store listing. If you are using Google Console very well, I know you are aware of this. Store listing when you upload your icon, your feature graphics and your screenshots so underneath before you submit you see where they wrote password I mean sorry phone number your email and your, your website so make sure this your website that you put your ads.txt is correctly written there and you save it if not it will not be verified so if you have done that that mean i have done that for the app you would have seen that here in this place there was no data to display you would have seen that here it will show you status so if it is verified it will show 100 percent you can see app add.txt you are also the website to be here the website to be here so now we have copied our add.txt Let's go to our blogger. Then you click on settings. Okay. 
so you screw down screw down screw down so come down to this place and you turn this on it's on before you make sure it is turned on so I turned it up now then you click on custom add.txt custom add.txt alright then you paste the add.txt you copy it you paste it here okay this is not actually complete alright so let's get this this is how it's going to look like and I told you you need to change I told you you need to change the pop 000 to your own original pop ID so let's paste this here So this one is always the same. This one is always the same. So now you go to your Google Adobe account. Go to your settings. Account information. Is your publisher ID pop? All right, you copy this out. Go to your blogger settings. Then you replace it with this one. Okay, so then you save it. Okay, so it has been done. So it was because of the space. So this is it. This is our art.txt, which is shown here. So now let's know if this has been done. So click on view blog. Like I said before, you have to copy out this. Link. This is your URL that you have to paste in the website in your console. Exactly like this. So to confirm if your add.txt has been done, just put forward slash adds dot txt then you you click on enter so did you see it is showing boldly here so this is how you add your ads.txt don't forget to subscribe to my channel share and like my video